We just completed a very surprising run on the iGauntlet World's Toughest Towing Test. Yes, with the 2019 Silverado 2.7 inline four turbocharger up and down the Ike. Do you want to know how it did? We'll tell you right now. This towing test is brought to you guys by our friends at Transwest Truck Trailer RV. Check them out using the link below for all of your truck, trailering and RV needs. Downhill in the Silverado Turbo. Hey, this is cool, a 2.7 four-cylinder turbo charge. We're testing it to the, this is a super Ike. We yes, because we're maxed out on trailer. Maxed out on trailer, we got a lot of payload. The test trailer we got from Trans West is a Cimarron two horse slant horse trailer. This is the North Star Edition. It's all aluminum. It's got fancy aluminum wheels. The only place that has steel is the hitch and the axle trolley. But up front in the tack room, we have center blocks. That's how we got our weight balanced for the tongue. And that's how we leveled the trailer out. We're trying to have the right kind of weight for the axles and the tongue. And in the back of the trailer, we have two barrels full of water, one tote full of water. So we have this trailer weighed up to 6,680 pounds. So we're right against the max tow ability of this Silverado. So it's a, it's a super Ike is what it is. We got them all anchored in there so they'll stay put and not make the trailer move around. A good load. Here we go. We're in tow haul mode, so we're doing everything right. We count brake applications, which means we're coming out at 50 miles an hour. As soon as the truck gets to 60, we're bringing it back down to 50. Uh, the most brake applications we've ever had with a half ton truck was 11. Okay. So that's kind of the gauge between one and 11. So yeah, first 60. one. There's the first one. First brake application. Bring it down to 50 miles an hour. The biggest news is under the hood because this is the only half-ton truck on the market with a four-cylinder. Where is it? Oh, it's, I see it's plastic. It's down there. Oh, it's down there. No, no. <laughs> but listen to the specs, okay? Okay, okay. 310 horsepower, 348 pound-feet of torque okay. out of this 2.7 liter, and it's made it to an eight-speed automatic. Well, I'm already impressed with it. We've gone up and down the hill. I'm impressed with that engine. Even though it's small, it's mighty. But I have one big negative that I'm still gonna hang on to. The truck does not sound like a beefy truck. That four cylinder has that car sound. It's yeah. not a truck sound. So the engine is revving. What, 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 about what 4,500 RPM there and we're about to hit 60. So just right around 45, 4,600 RPM. Is there we go, 60, coming down to 50. And you might be saying 6,700 pounds towing, that's less than a Chevy Colorado. Or a Ford Ranger. Or a Ford Ranger, and that's yeah. correct. But this 2.7 liter four-cylinder Silverado it's like you said it's kind of a big beginner engine it's not a premium engine oh, and it's yes. a fuel economy you play and do you remember what the EPA is on this? The EPA on the highway is 22 so it's not a, a, a record breaking what did the that MPG loop tell you that it was 24 oh that was the so empty, that was empty better truck. right yeah. the empty track 24 that was better than the EPA and that's what Chevrolet said. Well, that's good. See, 24 is a respectable number. Yes, for a full-size truck. Yes, yes. This iGauntlet run was a clean sleigh for me with this truck because we've never tested this engine on this mountain before. And the eight-speed, I was really curious about how it's gonna do with this engine on the way down. Transmission downshifted a couple of times in tow haul mode, and I thought we are gonna do 10 brake applications, but the truck surprised me. And this truck, this is actually what they call a double cab, which means it's a shorter cab. Right, a little shorter in the back still, seat. Still four doors. Yeah. Um, and we have a six and a half foot bed, four by four. This truck starts around 
$42,000 with this engine. Yeah. Um, this truck we're in now, LT, so we have a few options, right? We have heated seats, heated steering wheel. We've got a lot of good stuff, uh, about 48,000. Yeah, and this is the six seat configuration, which is what my favorite. I like having that middle seat. So wait a minute, we're uh, we're speeding up just a little. Just a little, we're but we're done. We're gonna level out. So uh, this is okay. a, not a nail biter. Hold your breath. See, we can keep it at fifty nine, at fifty eight right now. We might do it. We might do it. Throw the parachute. Throw the parachute out. Drag your leg down. I hope the door. Drag your leg a little. <laughs> Downhill. This was so cool. We only braked it eight times. It made speed, it made sense, it did very good. The control was excellent. I wasn't worried about any part of the truck or the trader coming down that hill. Very under control, and that's what you want. What else can you ask for? The great shifting did its job, and you know, eight times is respectable. A lot of these trucks did 11 times. So the whole package is, is showing itself off now, and I'm pretty impressed with a lot of things about this truck. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go up the mountain. Yes. We'll turn this puppy around and fly up the other side. Let's use That's that going turbo. To be the test. Use that turbo. Four cylinder turbo climbing, seven percent grade. Now this is a test. This yes. is a real test. Thirty-five miles an hour. You reset the trip meter, and now the time is ticking. So you think we're gonna go about? Nine minutes? It got to 60 pretty fast. I may have to readjust that. No, 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 no. <laughs> I think it's gonna be an eight minute run. You do? Yeah, a benchmark eight minutes. That would it's... be impressive. If this gets as fast as the Ecos, the EcoBoosts, and the 6.2s. Yeah, uh, at the speed limit, eight minutes is a perfect run. And I think that's what we'll do, that's a perfect run. Mean. Wow, well that would be impressive. I would be very impressed. If this did that, I know it's not super weight, but it's max weight for this, yeah, this truck. Is. What are you going to do? What I'm not very impressed by is the suspension squat on this truck. About three inches, we measured it. We got truck and trailer as level as possible. But the suspension still was good handling, but quite a lot of squat. It's a very unique engine. It's all new. Yeah. But it's also it's got variable valve, not just timing, but also variable valve positioning, right? Right. Because it has uh, the camshaft for the valves actually can move. Yeah. And what that does for the valves, you have maximum power lift, high lift on the valves. Right. For maximum power, which we're right. using now. Right. Or you can have low lift for cruising, for more economy. Or you could actually shut down two cylinders. Yeah, that would be interesting. But you know, at 60 miles an hour, I'm only running like 3,800 RPM. Before we went up the mountain, we made a little bet, friendly bet. <laughs> what did you say about the time on the way uphill? Well, I'm thinking to myself, this little four-cylinder motor pulling a big trailer up, 7% grade, 11,000 feet. I was thinking nine minutes. I thought that'd be reasonable. Yeah. What did I say? You said eight minutes. <laughs> I know everything. I'm the smart one. Eight minutes is what you what, said. What, what was the result? Eight minutes. Yes, it was. Professor yeah. Andre wins again. <laughs> nice. This is the final stretch to the mountain, to the top. I can see the lights. And now, you got it? 3.7. 3.7 MPG. Nine. Seven minutes and 58 seconds. Oh my gosh, you did, you know what you're talking Perfect about. Perfect run, I perfect. Not, I would not have bet money on that. Really? That's what the EcoBoost 3.5 did. That is what the 6.2 liter GM the big motors with big loads. But the fuel economy was 3.7, and I thought we could do better, actually. Yeah, 3.7 was not impressive, but then you think about this little engine pulling all that 11,000 feet. I mean, that's that's kind of how it goes when you're using all your power, and it's 6,000 RPM at the start, and it kind of hang there around 4,000 rest of the time. Yeah. So what else can it do but suck a little bit of gas? It was working hard. On the plus side, I was really surprised by the downhill performance. Eight brake applications is not the best result, yeah. but it was still good. Well, it was a truck full of surprises. I can't believe it went up the hill in under eight minutes. I mean, that's all the big boys, you know, the ones that had the big price tags, had to do all that. Everything about the truck was just a surprise. The way it handled, the way it pulled the trailer. But we've tested other V6 base trucks yes. in the half-ton segment, and this one did better than the Ram V6. That's true, and the base Ford. 
you know, we were actually in wherever the heck you were when we first drove them that first day. We drove them all. And we were surprised that, you know, very little turbo leg and it was quick off the line. Well, just this run going up the hill, 60 miles an hour, like immediately. I, I went from 35 to 60, like just a flash. So I know they'll go up the ramp and you'll be able to merge into traffic the way you want to, fast. There you go, the first Silverado Turbo World's toughest towing test is in the books. Go back to tfltruck.com for my news views and real world reviews and where else? MrTruck.com, where we're always surprised. Heck yeah. <laughs>